Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for You. Today I want to play with fabric and paper clips and charms. And I want to make some charmed paper clips. If you want to play along, you'll need some paper clips. Mine are the two inch size. And I've got some tea dyed cotton recycled. And so I thought I would use that as a base because it's kind of a neutral color. And then I'm gonna go from there. So I've got about 12 paper clips here. And this is part of the Ready, Set, Stash challenge put on by Meg at Chasing Retro. And so I'm just going to feed the end of the fabric through the paper clip. Um, it may, you might want to make um, several different kinds depending on which direction you want the paper clip to go in. Um, I have it overhanging and I'm going to get my glue gun and just... Um, secure the fabric down right under the paper clip so that it doesn't move so much. Um, I've got some really yucky paper clips that I won't be using. Okay, so this one is going to be going on to the page from this direction. So I thought it would be good if I made some that will be going onto the page from the other direction. So, something like that, I guess. And then you just make them however long. Oh wait, that won't work because we need it to, you gotta make sure it's trapped in there. So, um, I had it on the wrong edge. Because you want to get it on the side so that on the side, I don't know really how to explain this. Um, up here, this wouldn't have worked because it would slip out. So you need to do it on the edge that's closed in all the way. So here we go. Um, if you can see, this edge is on the outside, but it, it'll it slip off if you put it there. So you have to put it on the long side that's enclosed. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so I'm just going to tear some more paper, I'm fabric, and I'm making them slightly narrower than two inches. Most of my paper clips I put on from the right hand side, so I will make more of them facing that way. And it is slippery. Oh my goodness. I was going to do a bunch of these ahead of time. And then I thought, well, maybe we could do some together. I was also going to use lace, but I have to get I have to get some more stuff out to play with. So I picked this fabric because I kind of like the frayed look, and so I thought that would make a good base. So 
So yeah, um, when it comes to decorating these, I'm not sure if I'll do all of them, but I am pretty much out of um, any kind of altered paper clips. So I thought these would, these would be a fun project to do. Okay, so this one is going the other direction. It was just easier to feed it from that side. And then, like I said, you make them as long or as, as the fabric as long or as short as you want. And while I like some frayed edges, I don't like a whole lot. So yeah, October is almost over and I feel like I'm just getting into these challenges because I was a little slow getting into it. I felt like I didn't want to just do what everybody else was doing and, and I don't really know what everybody else is doing. I haven't, I haven't had time to watch a whole lot of what um, everybody else has put out, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, okay, so that's about six. And two, I was thinking maybe we could do some stamping on these. I've seen people use the three inch paper clips and I've also seen them use the one inch. So they're very versatile. You can do it on whatever you like. I, I find I reach for the two inch most often in my journal. So that's why I'm doing this size. And I am getting rid of some of the threads because I have already <laughs> harvested a whole bunch of threads for making paper later. Okay. I just slip it in through one corner and then pull it through the rest of the way. Seems to be the easiest. I love this cotton recycled cotton and it just it's so soft so there's no right or wrong to this at all it just depends on what you have and um, what you like I'm pretty sure I've seen others do this um, I saw uh, Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs. I saw she had some, she did some with lace, and I really like those two. Um, I guess I haven't really made that one yet. When I saw her do it, I didn't have the lace, and then... I got the lace and then I found so many other uses for lace that I didn't want to use them on paper clips. So, all right. That's a few to get started with. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know what it is with this glue gun. Dripping. I'll put the done ones over there. The 
The only thing I would suggest to keep an eye on is make sure that you have to the back the one that you don't want showing. So if I'm clipping it on, you know, depending on which side you clip it on. I also just made some um, labels that I thought we could use. And if you haven't been to my Kofi page lately, check it out. There's some um, new free printables on there. Yeah, I'm kind of putting it, we're trying to put it right on the paper clip. Yes, and of course we'll have to get out the charms if you want to add charms. You wouldn't have to, but I was thinking of calling them that, so I guess I better... <laughs> If those are too clean for you, just feel free to grunge them up. And just making sure I have all of them hot glued. All right. Those I will save for later. All right. So then we have to decide what we want to put on. Okay, charms. Got those from Amazon. Um, I was thinking some lace laminated leaves is what I was thinking of. And I just did a whole bunch. And I had to think where I had where I had put <laughs> Does anybody else do that? make stuff and then wonder where you put it. I don't actually know if these will fit because I think they have to be small enough. And I'm not really sure if I have a lot of small ones. Um, if I cut that one down, that might actually work. But then I would have to kind of sew them, wouldn't I? So, yeah, I might not do that. Sorry. Looks nice, though, if you wanted to sew them. You could probably just sew them right underneath a paper clip if you wanted to. I might actually try that with one of them. I won't do it on here because I don't have my machine down here, but um, fact of the matter is I don't have a whole lot of leaves that would be small enough for this. Yeah, so got a little weed there. That would work. All right, I'll do a couple like that. See if I like the effect. Um, that's probably the only really small leaves I have. That oh, one's too big. Let's say go this way. Now, if I had longer ones, that would work. 
Okay, I will just leave it at that for now. Something else to try. Um, I'll put these back where I found them. Alright, don't have a whole lot of lace to choose from, so let's go with the longest. And two, they don't all have to be the same either. Okay. Hopefully it will sit nicely and I won't need to tack it down anymore. But two, we could just keep layering it. Um, I've got some pictures that I drew. Too big, too. Oh, stamps might work. Maybe I'll be going for those labels sooner than I think. So here's like a a label. And then, I don't know, what kind of charms do we want? It's a little rocking horse. Why not? I don't know if we need a jump ring or not. I'll try it without. Yeah, we'll want a jump ring. I was thinking a a ball chain might even work. And then... Okay, so this, where I've put it here, let me get my journal. This is the one I'm currently working on. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Probably we'll have to, because the way this is going to sit in here, where I have put it, it's going to end up on the inside. On the inside of the page. And it will slip off there. So the way to probably do it and I didn't secure that very well. So we'll have to put the the charm on this side and so we'll have to do it a different way than what I did. I'll have to open open the jump ring and then put it on at the end that's going to be facing the outside of the journal. Or you could put the charm on a um, bulb pin and attach it that way. There we go. That's kind of nice. I don't want all the strings hanging there. I do want it to kind of be able to dangle and I'm just gonna snip that okay so then I was thinking maybe a label and then a stamp or something um hmm. 
maybe like a, a word strip. I just printed out a bunch. I think these are on my Kofi page as well. So I'm just going to make this smaller. And I think I still have room for like a stamp or something. Or I know I could do a label on top of a label. That sounds weird, but. Do a smaller one of these. I have them in two sizes. Do that and then kind of just to give it a, some more layers but I think like that and then the friends could go at the bottom I think that'll work okay Yep, everything's falling. And I do think I want to ink. And I might want to round the corners on this one. Um, I do reach for the simplest ones. You could use Fabric Tac if you have it and if you like it. Hot glue is faster for me. Okay, there's one. That's nice. I like that. If the other ones turn out as nice, I'll be very happy. Okay, and why wouldn't they? Okay, so you can pick other fabric as well. Uh, you don't have to just use one. Um, I'm just seeing I had like a fussy cut there. It's a little big. Thought I had some smaller ones. I'm going to check my stamps, see what I have there. Okay, so I found a few stamps. I was also thinking, I have this um, wider lace. Kind of bulky right there. I'm gonna take that off. Um, that could possibly work. I would like a smaller one though. Okay, there, that's smaller. That would work. And then, oh, I do like that lace. I think. I think I almost need a bigger piece of it though for that. Okay. A trumpet. The sound of a trumpet shall be heard soon, I'm sure. Some of these things, I don't even know what they are. Like, that looks like a, I don't know, <laughs> a P and an X. I'm pretty sure there's some new age stuff in here that I don't even 
want to use a purse, I guess. That could work because it's going into a, probably going into a, a young lady's journal here pretty quick. Okay, so again, it has to go on this side so it doesn't escape. Okay, so then the lace and the rose. Anything else? Something like that. I wonder if I want to ink up the lace a little just to have it show a little more. There, I like that. I think that'll, that'll work. All right, I'm going to use some more of that lace. I really like it. Um, try this long skinny one here. Again, I need to I'm going to put these aside for the hot glue, then I'll get some of these ready. Um, so that was a fussy cut. How about a stamp? Would that work? I feel like it's, that one's a little too big. Here's a feather stamp. That might work. I feel like that one needs something else yet. I've got this black lace. I haven't even opened it yet. Okay. I was thinking the black because the, um, the feather has black on it. So I was thinking maybe something... like that. That's a lot of rectangles. And then if we put something, and then I forgot my other lace. Very good. Okay. If I do the black first, then do this one on top. Nope, I keep needing the smaller labels. I'm glad I did smaller ones too then because I tend to just go for the bigger ones. Or I think I will. It's different. It'll be fine. Ouch. Yeah, don't do <laughs> that. And then, and it usually happens when I do lace, of course. And I did not do a charm on that one yet. ink this. So how are you doing? Are you um, are you participating in the ready set stash makes? I think it's a great way to get a lot of things made in a short time. Of course that is if everything cooperates. All right, how am I gonna? <laughs> I have this um, thing, but how about that? 
instead of my finger this time. There. Okay. So that's two there. Also, you could ink up your fabric a little if you really wanted to. Give it a little extra dimension. Um, so this one needs a charm. Well, this would work. I hadn't actually seen this one before. It's a bird on a branch and there's some leaves on there. And birds have feathers. And they sing of God's love all the time, don't they? So that will... That will work. Okay. Well, that's not lots. How are we doing on time? I have no idea. I can't see the timer. Got this really cool fabric. It's talk. It's all about um, Paris, I think, because there's the Eiffel Tower. There's some stamps, so letters. The problem is the pattern is so big. I haven't really um, been able to use it for much. A little large still. I'm gonna just take off the zigzag edge here. Eventually. Okay. There we can see some pink and I think I have a charm with a bicycle why would I want that you ask because <laughs> I, did, I didn't end up using the, the part with the wheel on it here how about this one Oh, I'm so disorganized. I'm usually by myself when I craft, unless I'm doing a video. And I'm looking for the, oh, 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 I think I found the bicycle. There we go. Now, again, that's a little on the large side. Well, we'll just have to see how that works. These jump rings are so, are so small. There, maybe somebody with a bike will get that one. Okay, so um what else i feel like i need something that one has pink and gold hey and it's smaller so that would i think that will work Okay, so do I need some lace on there? Why not? We'll just put it on. Oops, not enough. I think I'm running out of glue there. And 
and it's a little too clean looking. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but okay. There's another one. All right. Well, I'm gonna say that that's not bad. I mean, that's four. I think we're probably out of time now. So, um. Yeah, thanks for joining me today and check out the series Ready, Set, Stash. Hashtag Ready, Set, Stash. And uh, maybe we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.